Welcome to Green Gander 75, my name is Buddy. I'm working on a bun coffee maker here that stopped working for a local church who does a lot of charitable work for the community. We're going to open this up and see what's going on with it. The church staff report that the coffee maker is no longer heating the water. I've worked on this coffee maker before, so I have a pretty good idea what might be wrong with it. Before doing anything with it, I'm going to make sure that it is unplugged. Taking off the cover reveals the inner controls that regulate how hot the coffee gets. This is adjusted from the factory, so I'm not going to mess with that. Removing the upper pan reveals the tank and assembly for heating the water. I'm going to use my multimeter to take a continuity test of the main heater coil. This is where I suspect the problem is. If the coil has continuity, which means it isn't broken, the multimeter will beep. If the coil is broken, the multimeter will not beep. To get an accurate reading, I'm going to remove one of the wires from the main heater coil. To make sure my multimeter is giving me an accurate reading, I always test it by touching the two leads together. Let's look at that a little closer. When I touch the leads to the main heater coil, I don't get a beep. When I touch the leads to the safety limit switch, I get a beep. This tells me that the limit switch isn't broken and also that my meter is working properly. Now that we know where to look, let's take this coffee maker apart and find out what happened. Not only did the main heater coil break, but it burst through its outer jacket. This will require complete replacement. There were some rusty parts on the top of the tank, so we're going to replace them today as well. Reassembly will simply be the reverse of the disassembly process. So let's get started.
coffee maker is now assembled enough to give it a test. I'm going to add water and a coffee maker cleaner. I'll use the labeled instructions with the coffee maker cleaner. I triple rinsed the coffee maker to make sure I got all the cleaner rinsed out of it. Well, this coffee maker is now ready to go back to the owners and I know they'll be happy to get it back. So in a previous episode I mentioned that we're going to be working on the motor on the Bridgeport mill. It's going to be really challenging and definitely looking forward to getting started on that. We need to get done with the Bridgeport mill as soon as possible because I really have some lathe projects coming up that I need to get done and my lathe is still not finished. Well, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Now, what did I do with my coffee cup?